This is the story of Dr. Subhash Chandra Bose, an Indian patriot and a nationalist who had a stupendous contribution to India's fight against British rule. Enjoy the video. Subhash Chandra Bose was born on 23rd January 1897 in Kattak back in British India which was present in the Odisha division of Bengal province. He was born to Mrs Prabhavati Bose who came from an aristocrat family and Mr Jankinath Bose a prosperous lawyer. He entered the Baptist Missions Protestant European School in 1902 in Kattak. He had a brilliant mindset since childhood and thus excelled in his studies attaining an overall second position in the matriculation examination. He enrolled in the Presidency College in 1911 but was sacked out of the same for assaulting Professor Aiton for the latter's anti-Indian comments. Bose then completed his graduation from the Scottish Church College at the University of Calcutta receiving his Bachelor of Arts in 1918 in the first class with the honors in philosophy he then traveled to england to prepare and appear for the indian civil services examination upon his father surging and he did crack the examination achieving a fourth rank and securing a job at the civil services department soon he refused to work as an administrative officer as he did not want to serve the britishers In 1923 he started a newspaper named Swaraj under the guidance and support of Mr Chitranjan Das who was a spokesman from the aggressive nationalism in Bengal Soon the spirit of nationalism grew in Bose in the same year he was elected as the president of All India Youth Congress as well as the secretary of Bengal State Congress He rose to the position of editor of the newspaper Forward founded by Chitranjan Das and was qualified to the post of CEO of Calcutta Municipal Corporation. His nationalistic attitude and contribution to the Indian struggle for independence did not go well with the British. In 1925 he was sent to the prison in Mandalay a city of Myanmar and lasted there till 1927 after this two years time in the prison bose began his political career on a full fledged note he became the secretary of the congress party and worked alongside jawahar lal nehru in the struggle over the years of his selfless work he gained so much popularity that won him a nomination as a congress president after which He held the position for two consecutive terms but he did not last long in the party because of having conflicts in thoughts with Mahatma Gandhi where Netaji believed in active measures to gain freedom Gandhi ji on the other side was a believer of non-violence after the separation he established a separate political party named All India Forward Bloc It was in 1944 that Netaji gave his famous motivational speech to the patriots Tum mujhe khun do main tumhe azadi dunga People joined him in large numbers inspired by the highly provocative words for his fight against British Raj During the World War II Netaji saw a splendid opportunity to take the support of Imperial Japan and form the Indian National Army commonly known as azad hind foz from the prisoners of war and the plantation workers from british malaya singapore and other parts of southeast asia as soldiers on 18th august 1945 subhash chandra bose was reported to be dead in the region of taipei in taiwan by a plane crash